well, this was actually a great performance for a change. 3-0 against Bologna, another clean sheet, great, great performance. Yes, they were horrific, they were piss poor, but we were good tonight. My name is Roman and this is Juve Therapy. I'm doing the player ratings and the review of the Bologna Juventus game. We have just only one point now behind Napoli going into this crucial home game against Roma. But first, this Bologna game, well, there was a good one and we were solid at the back. Stone solid, absolutely perfectly. They had trouble figuring out how to play against Juventus tonight. They made so many mistakes. I was actually surprised we, we were playing a Serie A team. They were that poor. Mattia Destro, pff, I'm actually surprised he still is a footballer. <laughs> and uh, Simone Verdi, well, luckily for us, he was not nowhere near the fire. <laughs> As he usually is, because uh, lately he's been in excellent form, but tonight he was just poor, just horrific. As for our guys, well, we started with Chesney in goal, uh, Alexandro on the left back, Matteo Di Ciglio on the right, Binatia and Basagli in the center of the defense, Matuidi, Kedira and Mirlen Pjanic in the center of the midfield up front, Mario Mandzukic, Douglas Costa and Gonzalo Higuain. Almost every single player I mentioned did a good job. This must probably be the easiest three points earned this season. No question. But we knew what we were doing, so we got off to a great start by the goal from Mirel and Pjanic after Luca Banti gave us the free kick and Pjanic just struck it in behind Mirante, who was poor at goalkeeping that time, but still it was a great free kick, so 1-0 to Juventus. Second goal came yeah, just 10-15 minutes later, I believe, and it was again Mirel and Pjanic sent a great ball to Mario Mandzukic, who chested it down brilliantly and just slotted it in for 2-0. That was a cool, great goal. If you're able to check it out, please do, because that was a sweet one. And then they were done. The game was over, basically. 3-0 came after some great volley from Blaise Matuidi, his first goal for Juventus. And we could have had so much more. We could have had four, we could have had five. Dybala came on, could have at least scored two. Yeah, it was great, guys. It was great overall, however, my question remains, why do we start with Mandzukic on the left? Yes, I get that he is our target man, he is the part of our build-up play. We send the long ball to uh, Mandzukic and he usually wins the header and chests it down for the guys arriving from the midfield, but it's just not working against bigger, bigger teams. But I've been saying this throughout the whole season, so I will tell that story again and again and again. Another thing that was worrying me was that Sami Kedira. Sami freaking Kedira played the whole game. He just is there and nothing else. He just runs around and uh, yeah, does some occasional tackling and occasional passing, but he doesn't improve this team significantly. So for me, it would have been better to see Claudio Marchisio there, but then again, it's Allegri who decides. And oh, I can't wait to see Sami Kedira getting out of our club. It's enough is enough. Uh, you're over the top. I love you, but still, you, I think it's time for you to go. Play ratings, guys. Just go straight to it. Um, I gotta give it to Wojciech Szczesny. He'll get, he'll get a 7 from me because I think he did a good job tonight and not spectacularly complicated display tonight, but still, he was there for his teammates when called upon. So I'll give him a 7. Um, for Alexandro, improving, yes, but this is Bologna, they were piss poor as I said, so it's hard for me to give him 8, I'll give him a 7. Uh, his, attack, his attacking is much much better than Asamoah's, but Mandzukic helps him a lot in that department. So be real with Alexandro tonight, he was helped a lot by Mandzukic's supportive play. Bendy Binazia, well, what do I have to say, I don't know, he, he's... He has improved significantly, he, he has improved immensely lately. He has been one of our best players, if not the best, for a couple of months. I believe he even got the Player of the Month award for November. So it's well deserved and uh, tonight he was also absolutely excellent. I would, I would love to give him an A because he did such a great job and uh, covered up for uh, the teammates and also dealt with whatever Bologna had coming. Uh, Andrea Basagli also had a good game. I'm not sure if he deserved that high of a rating of 8, but I will give him a 7. Mattia Di Shiglu, however, well, guys, uh, this season might just be the rebirth of Mattia Di Shiglu. He was great. 
Every single game after his injury, he has been absolutely brilliant. Wonderful to watch. Tonight, I will give him an 8. I would love to give him a 9, but come on. Right back, uh, did what he had to do, no fuss, uh, smart defender. So yeah, I just give him an 8 and very, very well deserved. Mirelin Pjanic well started very very badly, was not focused at all. I saw him struggling for the first 20 minutes, but after his first goal, well, it went uphill from, uh, from there on in. He was great, he controlled the play and this is my point regarding Pjanic. He is just as good as the opposition is. If we play against minor opposition, he will play excellently, but against big teams, against teams that actually want to attack us and we need to sit back and uh, adapt to their style of play well that's where Mirlen Pjanic will struggle tonight well of course he didn't because we controlled the play I'll give him an 8 out of 10 tonight as well I just not want to give him a 9 Blaise Matwidi got his goal uh, looked fresh tackled ran 8 for him as well Sami Kedira, however as I said just is there at the moment uh, not improving the game at all I don't know, just because we won 3-0 and kept a clean sheet and he was just there to nullify Bologna, I'll give him a 7, but I don't know, 6 would have been enough, but uh, I guess I just have to give him a 7 then. Douglas Costa I thought had a good game, not great, but good, he wanted a lot, maybe too much in my opinion, I'll give him an 8 tonight, because every time he got the ball, he got those Bologna players scared, they were scared of him. And that was very very fun to see and there's been a long time ago we've seen this kind of scare from our position. Douglas Costa is real guys. We need to buy him, we need to nurture him, we need to love him, we need to hug him every morning. Mario Mandzukic, yes I have some issues with him, however he scored today and contributed a lot to the supporting play but really not so much more than that so I'll give him a 7? Maybe a bit harsh, but he's a left winger. He should have been a striker because I think Gonzalo Higuain was poor today. He was grumpy, guys. He was very, very grumpy. He got that yellow that pissed him off and apparently kept him pissed off for the rest of the game. So yeah, for me, he would just give a seven, nothing more. And there you have it, Marquisio came on, Bernadeschi came on, and also Paulo Dybala, who, as I said, should have at least had one goal. That's it, in the middle of the week we have Coppa Italia action and it's Genoa at Allianz Stadium. We should go through no problem and uh, there will be a lot of rotating because we have this huge huge game coming up against Roma. So check out my preview for the Genoa game. Until then guys, 